Hello guys and welcome to Prey. Um, yeah, kind of a bit late on playing this game. Uh, what, it's like six years at this point? But, you know, it is what it is when it comes down to it. Uh, back then, I was playing other games and this was something that I wanted to play, but then I kind of was like, oh, I'll play this later and just kind of pushed it back until the end of time. But, now that we do have some space for a bit of, you know, kind of old-timey revisiting type stuff, at least for now, might as well get started on this Let's Play and see if I can get this finished before I dig myself deep into other games. But, with this being said, this is the first time that I am playing this. Uh, I have not, as you can tell, not touched anything here. Only thing I've done is just work with the dialogue, and that's it. Now, obviously, new. This is going to be blind, essentially. All right, so what we got? We got hard, nightmare, store. Ew. No, we don't do story. Easy. No. Use we weapons and abilities. No. Obviously, we'll likely go on... Weapon decoration, trauma. Did you, I don't like that. I don't like when it like adds in like all this stuff. It's cool, but it's like, eh. I'm not, I'm not like the most uh, for this, especially if it's something that is like, if it's not already built in. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it off. I say five days before a launch of a game, I have a multiplayer campaign in mind for it. Yeah. Look, just because I'm starting this doesn't mean I'm going to, like, play it through before touching anything else. We're, I, I'm still... There's still going to be Remnant coming up on the channel. I was guaranteed. This is just another game to cover the other stuff, because by the time you're seeing this, um... Obviously, uh, System Shock should have already finished up at that point. So, you can know, always check that. Highly recommend it. Good. Anyway, let's go with hard. No survival mode options, because why not? And continue. Ooh, I can make myself into a dude or a chick. Uh, let's go with the dude, why not? Let's stick with it. Apparently, you're like, that's the whole thing. Wake up in your apartment in the year 2032. Great! Awesome. <laughs> I have no idea how optimized this shit is, so we're gonna see if we get fame drops. Or performance issues, but it's gonna be whatever. Okay, why'd you have my mouse be able to move? But you know what? I'm not even gonna ask. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Oh, that would be a day after my, what? My friend's 37th birthday or 36th? I think 37th. Should be 37th. No, he's younger than me. 36. Hey, Morgan. Wake up. You're burning daylight. You sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. Yeah, yeah. See you soon. Oh, listen. I, uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Uh-huh. We. Kobe! Ha! Damn! Okay. Just tossing shit everywhere. Oh, grabbed it! Let's go. I'm so good at this. Okay. Why don't we check this out? 
emails. Congrats and welcome. Hello, Morgan. So glad to hear you're becoming aboard soon. Your official work day is Monday, March 15th, but we first have a series of training exercises that we run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear you for the life in orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight, and I'll see you soon. Thomas Tucker, Human Resources, Talos One Research Facility. Okay. Delivery. Hey, I sent the package with everything you need for your first day, uniform, transcribe, and a neuromod. Install the neuromod right away, as we'll be running some tests first thing in the morning. Just follow the instructions. I'll be in touch, Alex. Ready? Hey, I just got off the phone with mom and dad. They won't be there when the shuttle departs. They're in New York, company stuff. But they send their best. Uh, I think mom's a bit, a little disturbed that both her children are going to be outside her gravitational pull at the same time. She said that you'd better behave and do everything your bird brother says. Okay, actually, she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me. So there you go. That's mom. Anyway, everyone's excited about your ideas up here, so get ready. I'll probably call you in the morning to make sure you're up. See you very, very soon, Morgan. Oh, see you very soon, Morgan. All right. Fuck you. Ugh. Damn, this is actually some hella resistant thing. Except some principle of neuroscience sent addition, the brain was once considered too warm, wet, and noisy for seemingly delicate quantum processes. However, the discovery of quantum coherence and biological processes, such as plant photosynthesis, avian navigation, and our own sense of smell, paved the way for the eventual discovery of quantum vibrations inside the microtubules of neurons. That is, like, very, very specific. Why would that be the thing that's tested? Can I turn it off? Oh, it turns off automatically. Flash the toilet. Gotta take a nice little shower. Alright. So we have the Transstar uniform. The method dot psi. What if I told you hold on wait, let me <clears throat> let me do some like marketing uh phrasing here. What if I told you I could turn you into a mathematician on the level of Einstein in under 10 minutes? I'd say you're full of it. That's the first thought that crossed my mind. But it withers in the face of Alec Yu's conviction. But despite myself, I'm riveted. He is not... Hmm. Huh. That's fun. Uh, I guess that's what happens when uh, you do stuff there. Okay. Yes, you have to make sure everything is all good. Oh, uh, boy. Oh god. I'm like looking over like I'm cuz I have like the Discord like uh my friend's Discord server. I'm looking over and I'm like why am I being dragged into this? Kobe. Wow. Okay, you got like a massive reach. <gasps> oh, I can't I can't carry the fridge. Wait, I could carry the fridge? Oh, that's so funny. Ooh, okay. Part of the walk. Cooking with a well-seasoned walk can be a sublime, almost spiritual experience. The many layers of the blackened surface are like stored memories of all the meals that have gone in and out of the carbon steel bowl before, now imparting echoes of the rich flavor to every new meal as it stays to task to cook. Okay, honestly though, cooking with a walk, friggin' amazing. Kind of, kind of wish I had one. I would use that sucker so much. So much fried rice would be made. First day on the job. Put on your Transstar uniform. In your apartment. Really? I thought I was going to put it on in somewhere else. 
Alrighty. Oh, hold on. Let's turn off the lights. Yeah, I'll tidy that up later. Alrighty. Oh, hello, little fishy. Good little fishy. Can't open that door, Morning, obviously. Morning, Mr. You. What's up, Patricia? Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. Yeah, 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 it is. Yes, I know, I know how to... I know how to do all this stuff. Alright. I like how it says my floor because of the fact that it knows. Man, if only this is gonna be how it's like in like what, nine years? I wish. That'd be nice. Like a massive building over there. Whoa, what the fuck? This is huge! Mr. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Transstar facility is just a short hop. 78 degrees, clear skies all the way. That's the Softworks Presents. This is actually That's really a nice sick. view on the bay there. An Arcane Studios production. I like the fact that they're adding in the in the, the actual credits in this. This is actually really cool. I love this. Shout out to the shadow that popped in. Guess we are here. Yeah, this is this is sick. I like this. And pray. There is your game. Holy Jane Here we are, Mr. You. God damn. Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Hello, Dr. Yu. Oh, hi. I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. You can see the little, like, the the small little um, propulsion shots that it does. That's sick. Wait, does it, like... Oh, it does have like little things on the bottom. That's so cool. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Uh, yes. Just vibing here in this goddamn elevator, cause why not? Morgan, finally. Hey, yo. Hey, oh. you don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's going to walk you through the process. You're in good hands. Okay. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Thank you. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. Okay. Time to go into this. Button. Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy, 
Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Okay. Wonderful. That's... You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. Okay, do you want me to put that stuff back, I guess? Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time, relax, think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Okay. Look. Is he? He's hiding behind the chair. Hmm. Uh, any synaptic register? At all? No? no that's fine. Where are Sorry, you? let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. Okay. Ooh, we get to do jumping. All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Okay. Press the red button when you're ready. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? The speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Man, I feel like there's like supposed to be something else that's happening and it's just like I either I'm just like too simple for this or what? Yeah, not the least suspicious. I know! I'm like, uh, what's going on here? Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Okay. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. Yeah. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Okay. Start. You're planning on going on vacation. Go somewhere familiar you know you love or try something new? I'll go with new. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. Now watch the cup. What about the cup? That cup you're talking about? I'm confused, but whatever. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Psst, calm. <laughs> Ooh, that's heavy stuff. Look, man, that's how it is. A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there's one person tied to the second track. Uh, I'd say s switch and feign ignorance. Good. Next. A runaway train is being bearing down on five people. You're staying on the platform next to an enormously fat man. Pushing them onto the track would stop the train. Well, they didn't say he was going to die. Almost done. A runaway train. What the fuck is going on? A runaway train bearing down on five people tied to the track. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. Jump on the tracks. Push the fat man. Where did the fat man come from? I mean, if I have a chance. Yeah. You know what? I'd probably do the same thing. I'd well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. 
In a moment, I'm going to wait, ask you what... Wait, wait. Uh, is my coffee? It's empty. Oh! Oh, oh my god! Security! Security! <laughs> Why am I being? That's what you meant by watch the cup. Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Wait, hold the fuck up. What? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, no, it's not. Because it was already... That. What? Wait, no, I took the burnt circuit board. I took all this shit. Oh, this is some fucked up shit. Oh, no, hell no. Nah. Six emails. Danger, leave now. Danger, leave now. Danger, leave now. Danger, da danger, leave now. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Motherfucker. Okay. Um. That doesn't help me here. That's fantastic. Lovely. We'll take this shit. Why not? Okay. I guess we gotta turn off that light. Okay. All right, there's something sus as fuck going on here. Oh, shit. Um, what? Oh. time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. Yo, how do I do that? Oh. Ah, what the fuck? <laughs> 